hello everyone so in today's lecture we'll be continuing with the <laughs> mouse um direction so in our last one we did it with the keyboards where we press the arrow key and we teleport to wherever we want to go and <laughs> before i start off for the day um i there's a few bugs that i have to fix okay so the first thing you would need to go to the find dot product between enemies over here we have the last input vector uh, i am facing some issues with this so i think it is better that we move to the ia move um, so the x axis uh, is the right vector uh, or the right axis so we'll get the right vector and the y axis is the forward and backward movement so we'll get the forward vector of it yeah so with that done we can actually shrink this collapse to a function and call this um, get keyboard dot product okay now this can be a pure function okay Okay, we can yeah get the last movement input vector from the pawn itself. So if it is not equal to zero, okay, um, I will do a select. So if it is not equal to zero, I mean there's a keyboard uh, value. We will get a dot product from here, and if not, we want to get the actor location of the enemy and uh, i want to get the actor's viewpoint because for the camera uh, our character can actually like few other characters can actually block um, the camera since it's a third person right so i'll do it from the location of the eyes of the character okay so we can do a subtract and normalize this again and after that we can directly get the camera and obviously like the forward vector is always where we're looking at right so um, we will find the dot product between these two and that will be the our get mouse dot product okay now i'll change it to pure again um, make it enemy reference enemy reference okay and yeah now you can see like if i'm looking at uh, the enemies i will move towards them if i'm not pressing any arrow keys if i press arrow keys however uh, i will actually go using the keyboard itself right which is good another fix uh, <clears throat> or bug that is left out is over here i think the relative uh, the target relative location now we do want to end up being on the enemy location but we also want to make sure that we are not exactly um, on top of the character itself right so again we will normalize the difference of the vector and <clears throat> normalizing gives us the unit vector that is uh, in between one right and this was i think about 35 i make it 40 so yeah as you can see um works really well yeah works really well with this so and the last thing is the rotation right 
So for that, we have the find look at rotation. That would be from the player to the enemy location. And we can actually, yeah. Um, I think that's all uh, for this lecture. And I will continue on the next one. Thank you, guys.